Um, <laughs> moving on, since we talked about Brock Purdy, we got the San Francisco 49ers. Um, they also took their first loss of the season to the Cleveland Browns. FIFO, mm -hmm. did Brock Purdy get exposed, or is this loss on the kicker? Loss is on the kicker. Loss is on the kicker. Uh, Brock Purdy did not have his best game as of yet, no. Uh, but he did enough to win, right? And sometimes when you're called upon as a quarterback, it's not necessarily to score a touchdown, it's to get with their field goal range. And, you know, kickers get paid to, you know, be automatic in clutch situations. And I understand he's a rookie, and I understand that Buddy was, you know, in his peripheral to his right side. But, bruh, like, you know what I'm saying? You're one of the best college kickers. Um, that needs to translate. Like, there's just certain positions, certain things that you do that translate in football. Uh, running back translates. O linemen translate. D linemen translate. Some linebackers translate. Kicker, gotta translate. We spent the third round pick on you, my guy. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we signed you as a undrafted free eight. Like, we needed you. Like, we sought you out. We, if you draft somebody in the third round, you scouted that player. Oh, you know, so, uh, are you surprised that the 49ers have a bad scouting team? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what we talking guy. about is they, 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 took, they took the best college They kicker. goofballs to take a kicker in third round. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, thought their team was so stacked, they could just pick niggas, <laughs> punters in the fourth round. <laughs> but Zach Taylor said, well, where, where did uh, 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 your guy get uh, drafted? Who? Oh, that's in Cincinnati. Kevin McPherson? Yeah. Yeah, he was a, uh, I think it was a fourth rounder. Okay. Like that. Did, did, did he not win a kick that took him to the AFC or the Super Bowl, actually? Yeah. As a rookie? Uh, what, what, what does kicker do? He loses no, a three And you over here trying to say, no, like, no, all I'm saying, out of here, nigga. All, all I'm saying, a tip is, yarder at that. All, all I'm saying <laughs> is, is that this guy always wants to da uh, down Shanahan, but always want to big up Zach Taylor. And they did the same All I'm Zach saying Taylor. is that, are you, all I ask, and hey, shit to do with Zach Taylor, I asked you. Are you surprised that the 49ers scout team is shitball? <laughs> They're not shitball because Brock Purdy's that guy, and they got him in the seventh round. But look, no, Brock Purdy was not exposed. Quarterbacks are going to have up and down games, right? We saw Pat Mahomes against the New York Jets a couple weeks ago, and most quarterbacks lost that game. And he found a way to win, right? Like that's what separates him is that he always finds a way to win. With Brock Purdy, he put his team in position to win, bro. What else you want from me outside of scoring, the, throwing the game winning touchdown? He did what he was supposed to do. And like you said, it was a chip shot. I don't care if he's a rookie. I don't care all of that. Yards. You're supposed to make that. That's how football games are won. And that's what separates the good teams from the mediocre teams. Yeah, correct. So they are mediocre. Thank you. And shout they're out five, to PJ what, Walker. Are they 5 and 1? Who yeah, mediocre? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, he oh. said the good teams are mediocre. Oh. I said they're mediocre. Because I don't like San Fran, but yeah. shout out to P.J. Walker who won that game. And it's funny because he was going against Steve Wilkes. Um, his coach. Yeah, his old coach in, who had him in Carolina. So that was an interesting matchup to see those two who both had success outside of Carolina. And we saw how P.J. was <laughs> P.J. was trash. P.J. Yeah. was trash. Yeah. <laughs> but he did, he did he enough to win the game. He was hogwash. He, was, he threw an interception that <laughs> should have been caught. He, they almost, that, that, yeah. they almost lost the game got, on some good like he was giving it away. Yeah, he yeah, won. Right. He, he, did. Almost like, Bro, wait. he did. He had a couple of... Uh, somebody, had a, a game. somebody had 100 grand a on the point he spread. He threw it right to the nigga to lose the game. Man, give P.J. credit. P.J. Uh, credit for what? He threw two nah, picks and had what? 100 grand. Nah, 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 bro. He did not win that PJ game, was bro. shit. He just happened to beat him. Kareem he just happened to show up. Kareem quarterback name, bro. That defense, Cleveland defense is the story of this game. Now, oh, for injuries sure. for the 40. They have a historic defense right now. for sure. It's a real deal. That's what Dallas defense pretend to be. Yeah, they they were playing man, defense. and they, they, they were locking they dudes, bro. Up. They got so you, you think he was exposed or it was on the kicker? I think he was exposed. I think it, I, I do think two things can be true. I think that they had a, still had a shot to win that game, but you saw he can be beat. A lot of people saying San Francisco was head and shoulders and better than everybody else. They're supposed to be like the elite franchise, and they can't be beat. Well, they proved that they can be at this point, and Cleveland was the team to do it. Well, I think any given Sunday, and I think, I think this, right? Like, I think 49ers, Which is what Shelton said, too. Yeah. I, I think the 49ers definitely have the best roster. <laughs> it is. I, I said it you right said you before think the 49ers what? I think the 49ers have the best roster, but there's certain ways I think you can beat them. Mm -hmm. I think if you get into a shootout, you, like the 49ers can be beat. Because, because Brock Purdy, like, if you tell me like a shootout, I'm thinking uh, Josh Allen, I'm thinking Pat Mahomes, I'm thinking some of these big arms. Tua. Two, 
Mm, well, what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, they're explosive. They're explosive. They're explosive. I, I bring hey, that up because he no, always talked shit about hey, Tua. Hey, no, he said one, Brock Purdy hey, was better than Tua. One, and now you're just saying one, that Brock Purdy hey, came listen, with a shootout. No, well, listen, we've seen Tua win multiple shootouts. 100%. 1,800 plus yards. So, you take that back. Number, number, take that 100%, back. 100%. You see how calm I was That's a week. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you're right. I caught myself. Number one wide receiver in terms of receiving yards in Tyreek Hill. Number one passer in terms of Tua. You're right. I'm not gonna argue that, yeah. but in a shootout, I don't. I'm not taking Brock Purdy. You know, say to me, the way they win is they control the ball, they run, they, they run the ball. You know, what I'm saying Great low possessions. Goal. You know, what I'm saying it, this is the type of game that they should win because that's how they win games. You see how you see how much of a game manager he described, bro. After the hot the hot streak, they talking about best roster in football. <laughs> it Nigga can't roster. do no wrong. Now we just saying, look, you just run the ball, play good defense, we win these nah, games. But, but, but that's the lose. way that that team is constructed. It's always <laughs> been the 49ers. They never had a quarterback. We've always <laughs> said that. Cleveland defense is elite, though. We ain't talking. So he that. also is that it's not a team. Is that not a Rams. defense he gonna face in the playoffs? Nah, it wasn't the Rams. It, it ain't too many teams that are better than Cleveland on defense. They did a good job of Miles Garrett. The Eagles. That's for what I saw. If you if if maybe the 49ers. If, if if there's a quarterback not named PJ starting for that Rock Cleveland team, the 49ers lose that game ugly. Let's keep it a bean. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They lose that game. That's crazy to Cleveland defense. And the fact that he that still knock, lost. I don't think the fact that he the, still lost. I don't think that's a knock to Brock Purdy. That is because he's going, an elite defense. going in that going in that game. If I told you PJ Walker's gonna go throw you two picks and throw under 200 yards, and Brock Purdy is still your starting QB, you would say I'm winning that game, especially with that 49ers team. If I don't have an elite defense, maybe. But I got an elite. No, defense. I said with the Cleveland feel like they can win every game. Why you think they put PJ Walker? I'm out telling there? you, you would have bet that 49ers would have won that game. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so then, but the that, fact that they mean, didn't say what. But that doesn't mean that Brock Purdy didn't do what he needed to do to win. He just ran into an elite. So what defense. are you saying? I think he ran into an elite defense. It was the cookie's fault. It ain't too many defenses like that that's going to make Brock Purdy or Kyle Shanahan look like that for the rest of the season. I'm saying, will, I'm saying this uh, goes. Now I will. I'm saying this is my full Everybody circle. Can't do what this they is do. my full circle thing. We always fall in love with Kyle Shanahan quarterbacks. They always look good in the regular season, and they always look like he good enough to get them over the hump. <laughs> but when we see niggas get put, that's, that's the AFC North defense. The Baltimore games. Ravens going to smack them no, around like that. Not. The Pittsburgh Steelers will smack them around like that. Well, they didn't. But I'm saying <laughs> if, they, if they had a better quarterback, they would. Their defense does. But the, the Cincinnati Bengals, we're going we gonna to see when they play them in the, in, at, in, on the road. as good as Cleveland. You I'm dismissing how good Cleveland defense is. I'm not dismissing that. That I'm man not, won 10 straight games. I'm not dismissing that at all. But the fact is, the 49ers came in heaven favorites. They were like double digit favorites going into that game. Yeah. So let's not act like we're saying like we respect it. That's not like we respect it. No, no, no. no. It's, not, it's not like we respected the Cleveland's defense that much to say that, oh, the 49ers should not, it's going to be a close game. We had no chance. No, they, they had no, they had no chance. I would have picked Cleveland last week. And the, and the one thing I'm saying is that Brock Purdy got exposed as far as he's not the MVP. Let's, let's get him out of the conversation of that. He is a, he is a, High end game manager. They play the 49ers next week? No, 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 not, no, not the Cincinnati plays not to the bye. He is a high end game manager, and we see that this team is all about the run game. When C Mac and Debo went out, that, cha- that team looked totally different. You know what I'm saying? Defensively, they can obviously hold their own, but again, it's PJ Walker. He ain't facing PJ Walkers over the next <coughs> few weeks. Um, we're they looking at the 49ers again, they're going to go as far as their quarterback can take them. They play the and Vikings if you believe Monday in Brock night. Purdy, that's going to be on you. Um, like the Vikings up Monday night and be right back in the MVP conversation. No, National Television. No, he's not. I think who, that's what who? we called him again. Brock Purdy right? in the MVP conversation? Yeah, they were they were talking him into the MVP no. conversation, but what no. what didn't we didn't we no. describe him as like a a super elite high end game yeah. manager at one point yes. during the season? Yeah. The high end game manager didn't win you Super. Bowl. No, no, I'm just I just yeah, want to make sure Tom we Brady were on did. the record yeah. of yeah. saying Tom that. Brady did that. That's what you talking about Super Bowl. You talking about the 20 years ago when there was different type of football hey, when they had the tuck rule. Hey, the but, tuck rule been gone. I know? understand that's a different type of football. But what, say, but what I'm saying is though is that what the elite level roster that they have around as long as he don't turn it over and he can score about 20 to 27 points a game they're gonna win a lot of games well uh true the the glock was a water pistol sunday uh, you know, you know, it just call flop perfect. Yes. <laughs> nah, we he ain't, ain't flop perfect. That's them. Rob, man. We ain't listening to Rob. <laughs> uh, Rob's a hater, but um, <laughs> but nah, the, the 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 Glock, the Glock definitely was a uh, shooting it was jammed blanks. Up. It was jammed. It was shooting blanks. Yeah, it wasn't looking good. Purdy, Purdy looked like like trash, and I think uh, and he was trash. 
Um, and, you know, I, I think both quarterbacks, Jalen and uh, Brock, went up against some very tough defenses. They and they both lost. And uh, both were in positions to win the game, you know. And, and you know, Nick, we went out catching the end of that game, and we were just kind of curious to see what happens if he's trailing, what happens if you need a touchdown or whatever. Like, will you – You've been playing like crap all game long. Yeah. But can you summon what you need in order to get your team down to, to win the game? Correct. And, um, and uh, Aoku, or whatever his name is, he made, a, he made a great catch and run. Oh, yeah. And, um, and got him in position, and the kicker whiffed. And I, I didn't know, because uh, we were recording, so I didn't get a chance to watch the game. But I watched the highlights afterwards on NFL Plus, the condensed game. But I didn't know he missed two kicks. Yeah, mm-hmm. was so was he was already shook. Yep. And and I was saying here and and you know Jalen told me I was like man I would I would have liked to see them call another play maybe get a little bit closer because they had that timeout but at the end of the day like you said like twelve Kyle shout out to twelve Kyle make sure yeah. you guys check out twelve Kyle radio and yes, even Jalen yeah. was like I mean it's it's the kicker that's his job yeah so you right. know at Purdy did what he needed to do he's there and the kicker just got to make the job we have a whole we I don't think we're having a different conversation because we're still talking about Purdy's poor play. Because you can't not gloss over that. Because mm-hmm. you're right, there are going to be but, but elite defenses but, in the NFL. But there's po- but, post play, postseason. But there's a there's an argument to made that said if Purdy would have won that game while having his worst game, you'd be like he could, he's a winner. He can overcome. Even you still when he say shit. that though. Yeah, you can still say that. that was, this is this is the first game Why? we ever see him we trail, talk. and he didn't yeah. get the job. No, 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 no. no. And, and, and not, and they they game, didn't get the, the W, but quarter. he did his the game job. Is no, wait, hold on, hold on. Fall. I understand it's all that. Nick. Quarter, so I understand all that. Nick. Three, but the, uh, and but you the, but the one, best head coach, the best head coach in NFL history, his motto is "Do your job." Did he do his job? Yes, he did. No. Yes, he did. The whole game. He ain't do his job. No, 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 no. He put him in a position. The whole game he did. No, 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 no. Nick, 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 Nick. Nick, Nick, even your favorite quarterback, Joe Burrow, has games where it's like, well, damn, he looked fucking pedestrian as hell. The great ones. Win the pedestrian game. We talked about though with Brock Purdy. We why are you not comparing? Seen why are you bringing up Joe Burrow's name in the Brock? Purdy because company? I'm talking to you. I'm just asking you though. Because you know, I'm talking you to know, you. You know, on any given Sunday, you ain't thinking about Joe Burrow and Brock Purdy in the same stratosphere. So <laughs> you're, the right that that mean, you're right there. You're right there. No, 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 no. Because game. we've seen Joe Burrow literally lead his team down the field and, 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 and get the field goal and start take over the day. And this was adversity for Brock Purdy. That's what we talked about. We've never seen that. No, but Nick, at the end of the day, Nick, at the end of the day. 10 out of 11, and you telling me a loser? Well, we're going to say this. We're going to say this about Brock Purdy. Who was he beating them 10 games? It does matter. It does matter because, it does matter because it like we said, Who we're calling out this game because he got smacked in the mouth by what? Showing a good defense. A good but you know what? Uh, but, but Nick, Nick he had a big chances. But how, but, but, how, but how many quarterbacks get smacked around like that, and then when they call on them, like, hey, bro, we need this one drive to win the game, and they fall short? That press got a week ago through a goddamn interception in the red zone. Through three straight picks. Come on! Ain't that how much money he make? Brock Purdy don't even make a million dollars, bro. In San Francisco. That nigga living like I'm living right now. What what you mean? He's a starting quarterback. What are you arguing about? Because he didn't get the the job done. He did his job. He didn't get the job done. You want him to kick too? I want him to be better in the game. Yeah, during the game, he didn't do anything. I understand. That's the thing that I agree with Here's the thing. He put them in a situation to win the game. After overcoming <laughs> everything he did <laughs> to, to cost them the game, yeah, I feel and, that. And, and you don't get no credit is, for that. No, you that do because this is the NFL. No, no, you, Nick, you and I, we probably wouldn't give a quarterback credit like that. But when we look at the NFL, and I'll give you an example. Let's look at Brady in that game against the Saints. We were just throwing all these picks and stuff. Whatever game it was, he almost the, lost uh, the Green game. Bay, Green Bay. It Green was a Bay. Championship game. Yeah, and then the defense made all their plays, and then they came back and won the game. And they're like, "Oh, look at Brady overcoming the adversity." Blah 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 blah. But you and I look at it like Brady played like shit, and the defense won uh-huh. the game. So we're not giving we at least I didn't. I don't recall you did. We're not giving Brady credit for winning that. But there are people that do because you play badly and you managed to overcome that to win the game but see the, the thing the difference for me in that is the fact that they've we, we you talked about joe burrow joe burrow has done that and come back and done it before 
We've never seen him face adversity and come back. And this time, he still didn't. Which is why the kicker needed to make the kick. Yeah. So the we could say he can't The over, kicker needed to make overcome. the kick to validate Purdy. But yes. The fact that the fact he, that didn't, he didn't make he's the not kick validated. is based on the fact of you put the game in the kicker's hand. We always talk about you should never put the game yep. in the refs or the yeah. kicker's hand. Number right. one is the refs. Number two is the kicker. Because right. you always know some good. Ohio State. Still upset. They yep. that nigga can't come back to Columbus because <laughs> yep. he lost them to Georgia. They could have beat Georgia. Yes. And then we talk about a whole different college football uh, landscape if Georgia's not back to back champs right now. Right. So when you put the when you put the game in the kicker's hands, you gotta live with that. You, you, you got yeah. I'm not saying, I'm not saying the kick, look, I'm no. not using the kicker. Do kicker's. you know what the definition I'm, of Moxie is? Force of character, determination, or nerve. And in my opinion, Brock Purdy showed all three of those characteristics on that football field. And the great ones, look, I'm not calling them great. They overcome. They overcome. And they get the dub with the kicker, without the kicker, whatever the hell. We saw Pat Mahomes do that against the Jets. The Jets are also one of the top defenses in the NFL, yes or no? Right? Top seven, top ten. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and he had an uncharacteristic game. But he won. Right. So I'll give you the fact that he didn't win the game. So what are we talking about? <laughs> give me the fact like no, it ain't a fact. No, no, <laughs> yeah. no, no. They Listen. took his heart, though, FIFO. <laughs> we can't excuse but what happened between those lines. 100%. But Listen. also, let, let's look at the clutchness Are you of made a play? performance. I, 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 you let, let me ask you this question. You said the great ones. What is great about Brock Purdy? Shit, this is his first loss in two seasons. Right. Ayuk was the great one. Ayuk made two that play. Games. It ain't the same. I said it ain't the same. Somebody got to throw to him. Yeah, I could have threw them that. He's he 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 No, you could. Let's not fool ourselves. There's nothing great about Brock Purdy. Nothing. There's nothing he does that's great. There's nothing that you would say that I want to take this element of Brock Purdy and build a quarterback That's like fine. Him. But the Glock getting reloaded this week. <laughs> the Glock getting reloaded. He's going to get some new bullets, Nick. <laughs> Who he's playing this week? week. He's playing some God machine. Man. I think, I they think the Vikings. Yeah. yeah, the Vikings. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Night football. Yeah, 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 he's playing the Vikings. Hey, if he lose that game. <laughs> but but I think the other thing is he was he was down, and you pointed this out earlier, uh, in comparing the two, to, um, that he was down CMC and – uh, Debo. Debo. That's the, that's so the, that cancels their run game. That that was that was a lot. I mean, when we turned the game on, all I saw was was were Brown defensive line players just blowing by the offensive line. So I was surprised he had that much time in the fourth quarter to even get that drive. Um, so yeah. But anyway, 